It's here, guys. It's finally here. Look at that, guys. It's perfectly done. A versus brand A versus brand B article. I didn't give it any other input than my website, the keyword, the LLM, and the content type. That's literally it, and it's created this masterpiece. You can try this now, harborseo.ai. There's a discount code at the very top of the website. You get it for $1 for the first month. I'd better see you there. Welcome to a very special video where we're going to be going through Harbor. Now, before we actually get into Harbor, I want to talk about a few different things. The first is whether or not you need Claude, ChatGPT, Perplexity Pro. The, the, the answer is no. You don't need Perplexity Pro. You don't need Claude Pro. All you need is to go to claude.anthropic.com and also Perplexity. Okay, all you need to do is set up a payment method, add tokens to your account, and then you are able to use Harbor, okay? You do not need Perplexity Pro, you just need a payment method added. All you need to do is go on settings and then select, so I'll just show you very, very quickly. This account does not have Pro, you can see, it says try Pro on the bottom left. If I go on settings and I go to API, you'll see that I have $5 pending in credit because it didn't work because my payment method was blocked. And then if I had money in the account, like $5, $2, it doesn't matter, I would be able to press generate here and I'd be able to get an API key. That's all you need to do. You don't actually need Perplexity Pro. The same thing is true of Claude. I can't go into that in this video because you need a mobile number verified to get into Claude but it's the same thing. You just go to console.anthropic.com, make an account, press build with Claude, and then add a payment method, and then you can use Harbor, okay? Same with ChatGPT. We do not recommend using ChatGPT. We recommend using Claude. It's much more intelligent. Now, one more other thing before we get into what this actually is, is to upgrade with the $1, we're giving away Harbor for $1 for, the, for your first month with the code dollar launch. A lot of people are having problems with signing up to this. So I'm just gonna show you how to do this. If you press upgrade and you go on the light monthly, not the yearly, okay? We're not giving away a full year of Harbor for $1. We're giving away one month. So light, 29 euros a month, press buy now. And then you'll see it says right here on the left, add promotion code, okay? These are the two biggest questions that we're getting right now. We already have a lot of people signing up. And I just wanted to quickly talk about that. Now let's talk about the good stuff. What can Harbor do that other content generators can't? Well, the first thing it can do is it can actually make inter interactive charts and graphs. A lot of auto bloggers promise charts, they promise graphs, and they never deliver. Harbor, on the other hand, we have worked out a way, and I'm sure people are gonna be very, very impressed, to make bar charts, to make graphs, to make very interesting tables to even make infographics, okay? So custom tables and infographics, we can actually make infographics for you. Now, the way this works, I don't really wanna go into this, but it's extremely powerful. We'll have videos coming in the coming days on how all of this works. But for now, I just want you to find out for yourselves. Now, the other thing it does is it scrapes your website's context. So a lot of auto bloggers, what they do is they just write an article that could go on anyone's website. What we've done is we've made an auto blogger, or sorry, a content generator that will make content specific for your business. So it couldn't go on any other website. The only place that the content that Harbor makes could go is on your business, your website, your brand. So the way that it does that is it scrapes your sitemap. So you input your sitemap. It takes all the URLs. It finds the relevant ones. It sends the relevant ones to a very advanced LLM scraping system. It scrapes the pricing, the description, what the product is or what the service is or you know, whatever page it's scraping. And then it sends all that to a writing prompt effectively. It's a lot more complicated than that. A week ago, there were only five prompts in Harbor. Now there are 15 to 20 prompts in Harbor. For people, for people that don't know, just for some context, last Thursday, 
we went from scratch, we went from the beginning, and we started Harbor, or at least the brain of it, all over again. So I'm gonna press Generate here, and just quickly, you can go on my settings. If you wanna change the language, we've only got the languages that Claude is good at at the moment. Unfortunately, we don't really have um, proof that Claude works with other languages other than the ones we have here. Uh, we actually contacted Claude's support and they said the, the way it works is whatever languages are represented on the internet, that's the language that Claude speaks best. Another thing is this industry thing is just for us. It makes has no bearing on the end result. Anything that has bearing on the end result is inside the dashboard. Now, one more thing before we get into this. This is version 0 0.01. You guys know me. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll know that I love innovation. We already have a keyword generator that is built and ready to go. We are going to be updating this thing daily, okay? We're not going to be like other SaaSers where you get what you're given, and then in a year's time, we might update, or in two months' time, or in a month. None of that. We are going to be innovating daily on this tool, okay? It's risky. Some bad things might happen, but we feel that the best value we can give is putting my brain and other people's brains as well, not just my brain, into this tool. Now, the pricing might change. It might become a little bit more expensive in the future, just depending on how much we put into this thing. But we already have the topical authority generator ready to go that we are going to bake into this, where it basically takes your website and it gives you tailored blog post suggestions based on your website and minus any duplicate blogs that you already have on your website. So let's do an example. Let's do, of course, we're gonna be doing two men. Why the hell not? This all started with two men. We may as well finish with two men as well. So let's do a live example. We'll do sitemap. You need to put your sitemap here, okay? Please copy and paste it directly from here. Do not try and write it yourselves just because if it messes up, it messes up. Just control V in there. Main keyword, let's just say men's sneakers 2024. LLM is gonna be Claude, of course. Now, instructions, you can put something like uh, do not make structured function medical claims. For example, if you're in the medical niche, I tend to just leave instructions. To be honest with you, I don't really put much into it. Tone of voice, again, I don't really touch tone of voice. Now, content type, definitely you can play around with. We have listicle, product reviews, informational, history of, pros and cons, comparisons, how-tos versus best for brands, Brand Roundup. So let's do let's do brand A versus brand B. Okay. So we'll see how that affects the result here. And then you can also upload PDFs. So if you're in a technical niche and you want to give Claude or yeah, Claude or Harbor specific technical information, then you can use the PDF upload option. If you want to use specific image links or if you want to use specific links, you can also do that. This will be Again, like I said, innovated on in the near future. Right now, it doesn't really do affiliate content properly, but we will be adding that within a week, okay? Now, this does take three to five minutes, so, but, but it's worth it, trust me, okay? So I've got 194,000 tokens right now. It uses about 650 to 600 for each generation. There's this beautiful little pop-up uh, animation that was made with Rowan's you know, front end mind. And yeah, this that's pretty much it. We'll look at the content when it's finished. Okay, so as you can see, we selected versus brand A versus brand B. And you can see the title, Hugo Boss versus Premiata, Luxury Men's Sneakers Showdown 2024. Now, if you wanted it to talk about a specific brand on your website, you can literally just put that in the main keyword. So I could have put like Kiton versus Santoni here and 90% of the time, not 100% of the time, it would write an article about that topic, okay? So you can control it here as well. Don't be too afraid to add things to the main keyword. Let's have a little look at the results. So you can see Hugo Boss Sleek Sophistication. It's, it's putting two product images next to each other instead of just product images all the way down. Oops. And then we'll scroll down a bit. This finished generating as I started to show you guys. So again, two images next to each other, looking really, really nice. And then we have this beautiful graph, okay? Now, this is a really, really interesting graph. 
It's perfect. There's no mistakes, okay? Like it's not using code interpreter, which often breeds mistakes. And then we'll scroll down a little bit more. We have more product images. And then we have a goddamn beautiful table right here, as you can see. That's the most beautiful table any of us have ever seen. Let's not beat around the bush. And then a beautiful conclusion. Now, one thing that people are already saying and one thing I knew people would already say is the articles are not long enough. I personally think that this kind of content ranks better than you know 2,000 word, 3,000 word content. But we are making that one of the innovations that we're going to be putting in place almost immediately, which is to have the option to bulk out content a little bit more if, if people want. So you can see here, we now have the complete article. Let me just download that again. Let me just open that again because it's messed up. Perfect. So right now, until we build one of these into Harbor, we're suggesting that you use W3Schools Try It Editor. You can control A, control V. This is a lot like Markdown to HTML, and you can run it here. You can get some idea of what the article looks like here. You can make edits on the left. You can change the CSS if you want. What we recommend that you do is for Shopify, this will just post directly into your HTML, no problem. With WordPress, it is a little bit more complicated. We will have guides on how to post WordPress content soon, but you can basically put it into a, a custom HTML block, paste it all in there, and then it will actually come out exactly as you see it here. Now, another thing is you can see the internal linking. This is actually, uh, I don't think this is, necessarily a real one actually, which is kind of annoying, but I mean, it will do that sometimes. It is it is based on LLMs. You can see this one is real, for example. Um, so yeah, it seems to have invented the men's shoe category right there, which is a little bit annoying, but if we open this, you'll see shoes, perfect. And um, we'll see if this is real as well. Boss sneakers, there are no boss sneakers here, but that's okay. It does It does work as you can see. So yeah, it does internal linking. Also, all of these product images are linked to the product as well. This is version V.001. Please get involved with us, guys. Show us support so that we know how much we can innovate with this tool. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really hope you enjoy this video. I really hope that you check out Harbor. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. And as usual, peace out.